Hi there, it's me, Annalise Boyd, Orthodox Christian wife, mom to 10, bread baker, candy maker, self-proclaimed doula, accidental midwife, and the author of The Aesthetic Lives of Mothers, he Hear Me, and Special Agents of Christ. So today I just dropped off my kiddos again for a, for, the, for their weekly um, uh, school co-op-y thing that they do. <laughs> um, but I wanted to go over another short quote and reflect on that just a little bit. Um, I have this head covering on. I do cover my head in church, but it is winter right now and this really keeps me warm. And yeah, so I just, I have left it on from prayers this morning. <laughs> All right, so the quote is, a person can become a saint anywhere, at work, whatever it may be. You can become a saint through meekness, patience, and love. Make a new start every day with new resolution, with enthusiasm and love, prayer and silence. St. Profurios. I already said it wrong. I probably still said it wrong. So I, I love these quotes, but I really like this quote because um, it is just so encouraging that, you know, wherever, whatever situation we're in, Whatever predicaments we find ourselves in, um, whatever may be mundane and boring and feel like nothing, feel like we're accomplishing nothing, um, it can still be that very, very important and real road to salvation. Um, yeah, at work, whatever it may be, and that can be as a homemaker or as somebody who runs a corporation or somebody who um, cleans houses or does um, you know picks up trash it doesn't matter what the work is what matters is that we are doing it for the glory of God and that we are doing it with meekness patience and love we can be praying as we do go about our work and I had somebody ask me about um, you know you know there's some people who can spend lots and lots of time in prayer and it comes very easily and they just want to you know read through all the prayers in the prayer books and they they stop and they're able to be quiet they're able to quiet themselves and and really focus and meditate and then there are those of us who struggle more with calming the mind or with um, standing still honestly with all the different things that maybe need to be accomplished in a day and so the idea that whatever the work is our, our lives can be prayer our lives can be um, of that path to Christ as well not just turning ourselves potentially into you know monastics or, or ascetics well monastic living living as married people or living in the world you know we were called to be whoever God has called us to be um, but in within that there is a path that God has provided for each of us that leads to him. Um, and I like, it's encouraging that idea of making a new start every day with new resolution that we kind of, I kind of um, think of the creatures that shed, <laughs> that they have to, in order to grow, they have to leave behind that old skin and go forward in that new skin. And in this same Profuros is suggesting that we do that each day that we're shedding so we're not like oh I didn't accomplish this I experienced this a lot in homeschooling because you know you have all these ideals and then there's the reality of what actually gets done a lot of times <laughs> it's definitely different and by the end of the year you're like okay I failed in all these ways and you always feel like you're playing catch up um, but he's not even saying you know look at what you did yesterday or didn't do and try to do. he's like it's a new day you know start every day new with it or sorry make a new start every day 
with new resolution. So whatever happened yesterday, of course, yes, if there is something that I need to repent of, I need to repent of that. But today's a new day and we're starting a new day and we can have that new resolve for this day to um, not rely on our own strength, but to follow Christ and his strength uh, and our weakness. Um, and I also like that he added with enthusiasm <laughs> That we're not like, okay, it's a new day. I mean, we all, I think, feel that way sometimes. But we can be enthusiastic. And why can we be enthusiastic? Because God is our helper. The God of the universe is our helper. He is, and, and our, he's cheering us on. And, and he's um, reaching out his hand to help us. And he's ever present with us. That is a really great reason to be enthusiastic. Because we are not in this by ourselves. And then, um, so with enthusiasm and love, prayer and silence. I am really bad at that last one. And I can, even if we're not talking, um, we may, may not be being silent. So it's not just not talking, although that is actually a very good thing to learn how to, but prayer and silence. It's the silencing the mind. Our minds go everywhere. Um, a lot of us, unfortunately, have an addiction to our phones. We scroll mindlessly our, um, or we're listening to something all the time or we're, you know, it's very rare for most people in this day and age to actually be still to find a way because we can still be working we can still be doing things and we can be still and present with Christ and it's really hard with the way that we have allowed ourselves to be conditioned by um, I mean it didn't just start with phones and went back to you know my daughter was mentioning you know with radios and then uh, TV and then uh, internet and now smartphones all those things that you know but I would imagine even before then, even before technology, it's always been possible for the mind to be busy and not silent as it is considering all the things that need to be done during the day or I don't know where you need to go, what you need to make, what you need to do. So it's not a new thing. So it's not like we're just this evil generation, but we are a very distracted generation. Um, and that is hard. So I encourage all of us to, to figure out how to, um, find and embrace that silence, that quietness. And there can be that silence and quietness, even if we're talking with somebody, if somebody, you know, if we need to interact with people, we don't have to be like, hmm. Mm -hmm. being, silent, being silent you know <laughs> we can have that that peace and, and silence in here so we don't have all those racing thoughts and in here in our hearts so I'm going to read it one more time a person can become a saint anywhere at work whatever it may be you can become a saint through meekness patience and love Make a new start every day with new resolution, with enthusiasm and love, prayer and silence. St. Profurius. I have to prepare myself to say that name because it's not easy. <laughs> All right. Well, God bless. Um, yeah. I mean, I definitely think of the meekness, patience, and love as well. But what really stood out to me was the making a new start every day with a new resolution, with new resolution, with enthusiasm and love, prayer and silence. And I think if we're doing those things, then we are practicing meekness, patience and love. So it's, it's all kind of mixed together there. All right. Well, have a wonderful day. God bless. Please pray for me, sinner. And let's keep working out our salvation one mama moment at a time. Thanks.